Jets for Ukraine. Fight the Jets for Ukraine. Fight the Jets for Ukraine. Air defense 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 for Ukraine. Help Ukraine protect peace. 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 My friends, once again, let's not forget about what was done in the past, because the past gives us a glimpse into the future. We do not want to return to that past, no. The Russian terrorist regime wants to return to that past. They have repeatedly said that they want to bring back the Soviet Union. It is no coincidence, of course, that on many of their tanks that have invaded Ukraine, there was a red flag of death being flied, symbolizing the genocide of the Soviet Union. Taunting the Ukrainian people, shouting in their face and saying, that they could do it again. In fact, the Russian propaganda machine of time says that. Kill, 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 and kill some more. This is their message. And I am not hyperbolizing it, my friends. This is exactly what Solovyov has said, one of the main Russian propagandists. Thank you, my friend. And speaking of propagandists, let's talk about Tucker Carlson, the newest and biggest Russian propagandist of our days. Now for those who might feel a little confused and might not understand what exactly we're talking about here, Tucker Carlson has indeed started his show on Russian television. He has already released the first episode. I will be honest with you, my friends, I have not yet watched it. I have only watched a few snippets. I don't feel, considering that I'm a little sick, I don't feel I'm strong enough to endure <laughs> such cringe and such word juggling as Tucker Carlson will surely put in his absolutely atrocious show. My friends, some people will sell their soul for pennies. And Tucker Carlson is selling his soul for millions of rubles which will become pennies very soon. Mark our word. Hopefully Tucker Carlson is not too sad when his assets get frozen alongside with the Russian assets and get sent to the Ukrainian people to rebuild Ukraine against the terrorist regime that has hurt it so much. My friends, Tucker Carlson has already done a lot of damage he has consistently tried to sway the American conservatives, the American Republicans, in favor of the Russian terrorist regime. Let it be known to the whole world, Russia is an enemy of the West, a sworn enemy, an enemy that has decided to be as such. And they will not stop until either the West collapses or until Russia collapses. Now Russia, has very few chances of victory, very few. But why, my friends, why should we allow innocent people to die when we can simply help Ukraine by giving it everything it needs to win and save Ukrainian lives with that? Indeed, by destroying, by annihilating the Russian military in Ukraine, many lives, countless lives will be saved because the Russians are the ones coming to kill. The Russian terrorist regime is the one who wants to destroy Ukraine. It's the one who wants to destroy the West. And we will not let that happen, my friends. Let it be known that the traitors will not be forgotten, that the people who, when their aid was the most necessary, turned their back on the free world. Let it be known that those people can never be trusted. Let it be known that people who sell their soul for pennies will do the same to everything that they hold dear. And these individuals can most certainly not be trusted either. 
Look at what happened at Prigozhin, with Evgeny Prigozhin. He had a good deal with Putin, or at least he thought so. But then, bada beam, bada boom, Prigozhin has died in a supposed plane accident. That's right. <laughs> the tallest window on earth, that's what he fell from. My friends, I will never tire mentioning Prigozhin, honestly. And sometimes people have joked about it and mentioned that he's my best friend and I really love him. I don't. I do not love him. I mention his example because it is education. Because it shows to everybody in the world that to try to make deals with the Russian terrorist regime is suicide. No matter who you are, no matter where you are. My friends, we know what happens to those who try to help Russia? Not too long ago, there was a big scandal. Countries like India, Nepal, and a few other developing countries have had a lot of people go to Russia to have back-of-house jobs. At least, that's what it was advertised as. They thought they were going to Russia to mop floors and cook food. But in reality, they went to Russia to pick up Rusty Kalashnikovs and to charge at the Ukrainian lines. They were not happy, let me tell you that. I believe some of them might have smuggled the phone in. And they have filmed many videos complaining over and over again about what the Russian terrorist regime had done to them. But at that point, my friends, it's too late. It's far too late. When this disgusting monster gets its paws upon you, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do but suffer. And regret your decisions of the past. That, my friends, is not a future that we want. That, my friends, is not a future that we strive for. The future we strive for is a future of peace, a future of prosperity, a future of diplomacy. However, how can we have diplomacy? with the Russian terrorist regime who breaks every single treaty it makes with us. How can we sue for peace? And once again, my friends, this has never been a matter of pride. The Ukrainians have accepted a deal that did not favor them at all. They accepted the two Minsk agreements in which Ukrainian lands would simply go away and they would be transitioned to Russia. The Ukrainians have accepted them. Who broke those treaties, my friends? Russia did. Okay. All right, thank you, my friends, thank you. I mean, after a whole bunch of offers, yeah. I finally submit to the kindness. And I will uh, have this umbrella here. Thank you very much. Uh, it's actually a good idea, for at least for the microphone. We don't want to get the microphone wet. But my friends, I digress. Let's go back to business. Let's go back to what actually matters. Tucker Carlson's betrayal of the American people should not be forgotten and should not be forgiven. Those who so dissent in the ranks of their allies, in the ranks of their friends, in the ranks of those who have helped them, of those who have accepted them, are the most disgusting people. My friends, that is the most unacceptable thing someone can do. As the saying goes, the worst thing about betrayal is that it never comes from the enemy. And that saying is always unequivocally true. So we must see what Russia is. Russia is not our friend. Russia is not neutral. Russia is an enemy. Nay, Russia is the enemy of the West. And it will continue being the enemy of the West until at long last its terrorist government is put down for good. My friends, we never agreed and we will never agree with the Russian terrorist regime's rhetoric. We do not simply switch things around and start saying, just like they are saying about us, because they are saying they're going to kill Ukrainians, they're going to exterminate Ukrainians until they submit. That, my friends, is what the Russian terrorist regime is saying over and over again. We will not reciprocate. We never said and never will say foolish things of the sort of exterminating all Russians. That, my friends, is actually a very close idea to what neo-Nazis believe in, to what Hitler believed in. So Putin should keep that in mind. 
But Putin, of course, he's been shilling for Hitler over and over again. What we want, my friends, is three things. First, the devolution of all lands to Ukraine. All the lands that were Ukrainian before 2014, the beginning of this war, will be given back. Second, the payment of reparations to Ukraine by the Russian terrorist regime. It can be gradual, doesn't have to be all at once. We do not wish to destroy the Russian people themselves. We only wish to recover what we have lost, to recover what they have taken away from us. And third and most important, my friends, the complete and utter collapse of the Russian terrorist regime. These are our conditions for peace. This, my friends, is what we are going to achieve together. All together, we will win. All together.